Hey guys, I just uh, want to shoot a quick video. I hadn't done anything in a minute. Hadn't really been all my fault. I want to show you what we've been dealing with around here. So, uh, uh, so here's this tree that just decided that it was going to fall and destroy my building where I happen to keep my grow outs and whatnot for my quail and didn't have any uh, in there at the time, but I had ambitions to put a rabbit grow out pin on the other side, and I didn't get that done. I guess that was somewhat of a blessing since, uh, you know, it got crushed and everything, but now I'm having to keep my grow outs in with my mama rabbits, and the pins are starting to get a little bit crowded, so they're not going to be too much longer before they're ready to process. I guess that's the... Uh, the big takeaway here uh, I wanted to show these gardens so I went into this year this is my first year with raised bed gardens and I wanted to discover the laziest way to garden and I think I did a good job of that so I didn't hardly do anything to this I planted it and watered it maybe 10 times throughout the whole season and uh, had varying degrees of success really good luck with tomatoes and uh, zucchini did really well the co-crops did really well the peppers are coming in now and uh, the green beans did all right the few plants kind of learning I wanted to start this journey when I did so I could take you guys along and we could kind of learn together but the cattle fencing down there not only keeps the dogs out, but it served as a support for tomatoes. So as they grew, you know, that supported them and kept them from growing off the ground, which kind of a two is one deal. Um, on the off season, I think I'm going to paint foot by foot, you know, patterns on them so I can use them to aid me in my planting next year. Uh, still processing the tree uh, we processed out a bunch of quails me and the boys did a few weeks ago so going to have to get more quail out of the incubator and get some more raised up but uh, summer's been hot and it's hard on the animals that's one reason I hadn't been doing as much as I had been doing it's good to give them a little break in this heat um, got my raised bed i took the little tiller to it, turned it up, and uh, it had a bunch of Johnson grass, so I went ahead and cut that down. I've been soaking it down for a couple days and getting ready to plant my fall crop for onions, and got a couple of uh, broccoli still producing, so they're about to be booming again. I'm just nursing them through. A lot of the cold crops, as they uh, aged out, they wound up being rabbit fodder, so Worked out well for the rabbits, but anyway, this bed's getting ready to get replanted. Like I said, probably onions, carrots, um, I don't know, onions, carrots, maybe some, oh, garlic, whatever else, cold crop wise, strikes my fancy, maybe some cold fly, cauliflower, we'll see, but. Yeah, but anyways, I just wanted to take a few minutes and show you guys what's been going on I'm about ready to go down to the land and do some more down there put up some deer stands and get ready for deer season because that is upon us and probably one of my favorite times of the year truth be told so it'll be more exciting content to come and uh, until then you guys take care of yourselves if you like this please like and subscribe we'll see you out there internet